from Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. As we begin the 2023 Lenten season, the evil of crime, in particular Morris, continues to plague our beautiful country. Somewhere, someplace, it's war, conflict, civil unrest, protests, demonstrations, human rights abuse, and we can go on. It may be necessary to zero in on that beatitude in which Jesus addressed the issue of peace, peacemakers, peacemaking, peacekeeping. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Jesus gives priority to this ministry of human reconciliation, showing peacemaking as a birthright. Peace is often hard won, as we witness in the world today. It came at great cost to Jesus to sacrifice his life that we might have peace. A peacemaker is willing to give up his or her perceived rights as he or she pursues a path of seeking and advancing harmony among other individuals, whether it be in the family, on our workplace with our workmates, in our church or community, so that they may experience God's peace. But through God's love, we can become that kind of peacemaker if we are willing to walk in the steps of Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to empower us and pour the love of God into our hearts. Jesus made peace through the shedding of his blood on Calvary's cross and calls us to be peacemakers. We must have peace before we can become peacemakers. Peace is a sure sign that we have reconciled with God the Father. Peace is the result of a forgiven heart filled with the love of Jesus Christ. When peace rules in our hearts, we can become peacemakers. So being a peacemaker means being the initiator in reconciling conflicts between others and ourselves. Our purpose must therefore be to tear down walls that divide us and constantly work for understanding among each other. In a world where individuals and groups and organizations, countries and nations are at us, our calling is to actively seek to resolve conflicts. We can listen to love and care for people on both sides without taking sides. For we stand on the third side. Our side is that of peace. <coughs> Peacemakers are called to unity. In our relationship with our Heavenly Father, we manifest the fruit of the spirit of peace and doing what is so important to God our Father. Jesus therefore came to bring peace. God is the supreme peacemaker and we are to follow his example. Jesus' last will and testament regarded in John chapter 14 and verse 27 says to us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins for the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen.